After receiving a Title IX complaint about sexual harassment or sexual violence, a Nichols professor was suspended from teaching this weekend. Before this complaint, Dr. Joseph Takash, a geography professor, was informed that his contract would not be renewed after this semester. Takash informs his students through an email that he would not be back. Takash said, some of you may be already aware of this, but I'm leaving. That's right, I am leaving Nichols. However, do not be scared. I will continue teaching this class until the end of the term, but let me give you some background. Nichols is a shit show. There's no other way to put it. The last few months, I have been under attack from what is called the Great Inflation Task Force. This is a group that tries to make all professors have even grade distribution. I try to explain to them that my students have high grades because I'm actually involved in the class and teach them, unlike other professors you have here. I have repeatedly told them that I will not change my classes to fit their formula. So last week, I was told they don't want me to come back for the fall semester. Well, little did they know, I've had other universities scraping at the chance to get me to come there and teach. So I view this as a blessing in disguise. I was uh, called into a meeting with uh, the dean and my department chair. And that is uh, when I found out that I was not coming back. So that was not a me thing. That was something they did. And uh, they said, you're not, uh, uh, your contract's not being renewed after the spring semester. And I started to put, put two and two together. And it's like, okay, well, uh, that's the reason that I see uh, why they did that. Some students were already uncomfortable about things going on in his class. Takash gave an optional bonus point assignment where students in cultural geography would paint their faces like geisha, clowns, or other looks. And that's an assignment in uh, one of my classes where they actually come up with their own face paint and makeup design inspired by a culture and they implement it. But there may be more to this assignment as we looked into things he has done in the past. Three years ago, while at Kent State University in Idaho, Takash posted this on his Reddit after he had students do similar assignments. I have a face paint fetish and convinced the cute girls in my class to let me paint their faces. I'm not very good, but there is something about applying thick white clown makeup on them that I like. I started getting more and more adventurous painting one's entire body white. Nichols' students explained what he had them do here. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> and he's like, how many bonus points do you want? And I was like, 20? I don't know, like... I don't think this doesn't matter to me. Like, I don't okay. care. So I just like was a really ridiculously high number, thinking he'd be like, no. And he was like, yeah, that's fine. Oh my gosh. I was like, perfect A. Oh my like, gosh. So yeah. like, it, it really didn't matter. But he really wanted me to come like do the bonus point assignment or whatever. So I was like, this is so weird. I'm joking. I was like, I want to be a clown. I always wanted to go to clown school. So I'll do the clown. And he's like, do you want me to do face paint for you? And I was like, no, <laughs> that's fine. I can do it myself. So I'm just like putting this paste, paste paint on me and then finally the other girl shows up and then she starts putting it on me and he's just kind of like really happy. <laughs> like watching it happen and he's like smiling and giggling and like hee hee, like just watching us paint each other's faces. Yeah, she went in with a friend and like they did the whole face paint thing. She too. did? Yeah. Oh, I know she actually went in. But, um, and then he, he pie does. Some of them are contacted outside of class on social media. Like during the summer, like after school's all over, I get a follow request from someone on Twitter and the Twitter handle is geography. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, this is obviously him. He signed off every single email with Department of Geography. So I, I tweet at him. I like accept his request for him. I tweet at him. I said, at geography, mm -hmm. where are you my geography professor? Mm -hmm. And he was like, yes. And I was like, Okay, but before I had tweeted that at him, I looked at his followings to like see like who's he following? Like, is this my professor or not? So it was like Jay Clune, like people that were doctors, and then it was like a bunch of accounts that were like bimbo clown, big booty honking clown, eighteen plus OnlyFans clown. Account. Oh my gosh! And like he was like tweeting at girls like. I'll pay you twenty dollars. I'll send you twenty bucks if you paint yourself as like a geisha or whatever. Um, and I was like, oh my god, he's a creep. That's so weird. Like, I can't right. believe this. And then after I had like tweeted at him, like the next day, his Twitter account either he like blocked me or he privated it or deleted it. it got deleted. I don't know, but it was gone the next day. And my friend sent me 
a Reddit account. It was like, you need to look at this. And it was, she looked up on Reddit, it was geography. Mm -hmm. And it was like him tweeting from like years ago. So he was like, uh, I have a last wish. Yeah. I have a final wish. So can I please do a face paint job on you? This is one of my last wishes before I leave. The university received a complaint in October of 2022 about him allegedly harassing a student on social media. Paul Wilson addressed Takasha's students over the weekend in an email. Wilson said, Dr. Takash has been suspended as the instructor of this course for the remainder of the semester, and it is absolutely not because of grade inflation. For now, you will not have class on Monday. Rest assured, because of this unforeseen circumstance, we'll be flexible and not make hasty decisions without considering the best interests of the students in this course. I wish I had more information right now, but this happened quickly. Look for an email from me early next week. Also, if there's anything you need to share with me, please do not hesitate. I'm a husband and a father of two daughters and I take the concerns of Nichols students quite seriously and do my best to assist and address it in a professional and timely manner. As the story keeps developing, KNSU TV and the Nichols work will keep you updated. I'm Hannah Robert with KNSU TV.